it means everything. This is pretty uh, life changing. I knew I'd have to have a perfect race against those great guys out there. Luca, Nick, Trenton, um, all those guys out there are either fantastic tournament butterflyers who are probably a lot better swimmers than I am. You know, fortunately it's a short course and uh, I just really work hard on underwater kicking. I just knew I'd have to execute, execute my own race plan and um, just, just pray. <laughs> um, I, I'm still in shock really. I've had some really great Big Ten meets in my college career. The last year's NCAAs was um, a bit of a disappointment. Even though I had two A finals, I just had higher goals, higher aspirations for myself. Um, and this year, I just really used that as motivation to really work hard this year. And I had really, really big goals this year. And, um, you know, I didn't quite hit all of them, but to hit one of the, it's kind of my baby. I really, I've been a tournament butterfly for a really, really long time. It's, it's an event that I just mentally obsess over. It's, I, when, I, when I'm kind of swimming the Twitter fly, I kind of like view it as like artistic expression, which is kind of weird. Um, I understand that, but like when I just swim the Twitter fly, it just feels like really natural. It just feels so good. And um, for this being like the biggest accomplishment of my career is just really means a lot. I'm just still really at a loss for words. Nothing in particular. I mean, my race strategy is pretty straightforward, just really rely on my underwaters. I know that I'm probably going to be, get beat on top of the surface by guys like Nick, Luca, Trenton, um, guys who are a lot better than me, long course. <laughs> um, so I just really had to rely on my underwaters and uh, hope for the best. So, And I, I just really want to shout those guys out. They really, really pushed me. I was able to see them at um, every turn at the 50 and the 100 and 150. Um, saw that we were pretty close and those guys, more importantly than, you know, them being fantastic racers, fantastic swimmers, they're great guys. Like I've known them for a decent number of years now and like I, I've been on a trip with Luca. He's an awesome guy. He's a super fun guy. Just does not, just is, is kind of like the, um, is kind of atypical from what you'd expect like a really good swimmer to be. He's just like a super down to earth guy, super funny. And same with Trenton and Luca, or excuse me, Trenton and uh, Nick. They're just really nice guys, and that's what really means the most to me. You know, I, I sat down with Ray and with um, Luke Ryan, and we just kind of walked it through, and the ultimate decision was like, do you want to do five 100s or four 200s? And ultimately, I chose five 100s. Um, yesterday was overall, you know, what, what else could I do? Casper is a fantastic swimmer, and he totally deserves to win that 100 back. Fantastic racer, fantastic underwater kicker. Um, it's disappointing to, to get out touched, but hats off to him. And you know, going 544s in one day, I don't know how many times that's been done before, but I was really proud of myself for training really hard to do that. And then today, just getting the job done, um, going to best time, going to all best times this meet, I was just really, really happy with the hard work I put in.